Thank you, Dr. Yokelson, for today. Um, if you could just give us a background as to why you decided to become a physician. Sure. Uh, so I actually decided when I was about 10 years old that I wanted to be a physician, and I'm not really sure what uh, spurred that uh, inspiration, but uh, that was really all I ever wanted to do. And when I got into medical school, I realized that it was the right choice, although the specialty that I thought I wanted to do was definitely not what I wanted to do. So I all along thought I wanted to be an ophthalmologist, and um, it wasn't actually until my senior year of medical school, my fourth year, that I decided to do physical medicine and rehabilitation. And that was when I was doing a rotation, actually over at Holy Cross Hospital. Uh, and it was the patients with the neurologic disorders, particularly stroke disorders, that I found to be most uh, interesting and really rewarding to work with. So after I finished my medical school at GW, I was in the Navy, and so I did all of my residency training at uh, Bethesda Naval Hospital and Walter Reed, where I actually trained in both neurology and physical medicine and rehabilitation, and then did um, two years in Japan, where I was a staff uh, neurologist and physiatrist and covered the entire mainland uh, for all of the military um, services over in Japan. Uh, after that, I came back to Bethesda Naval Hospital, worked for two years. While I was there, I was a co-director of the Traumatic Brain Injury Multidisciplinary Team, so working very closely with all the service members who are coming back from Iraq and Afghanistan. And then in October 2006, I got out of the military and came to work here at NRH. So the reason I came to NRH, actually, since I was doing my training at Walter Reed, all of their residents train here at NRH as well, and they do rotations in traumatic brain injury and in spinal cord injury. So about 10, 11 years ago, I was here as a resident training in brain injury and spinal cord, and I just really fell in love with the facility. I think it's a great facility, both in terms of the the location, the atmosphere, um, the team members, everyone works so well together. It's a really great place to work. And so it was something that I always wanted to do and the timing just was perfect because right as I was getting out of the military, uh, Dr. McCarthy, who used to head the brain injury program, uh, was taking a position elsewhere and so I was fortuitous enough to get the current position that I have. I think it really, a lot of it goes back to the same reasons that I like to be here as a staff person, is the atmosphere. And so the physical atmosphere is, is wonderful. It's very open. All of the therapy is done out in a big atrium where it's nice and bright. You're getting um, you know, natural sunlight. You don't feel like you're cooped up in little offices. Um, you get to interact with other patients while you're here as an inpatient. And uh, the staff is just incredible. All of the teams are very cohesive. They work really well together, and they're really pleasant to, to work with. And so I think that the patients feel that, and the families as well can really feel the, the energy that's here and sort of the camaraderie of the teams. And I think it's really important to recognize that the patient and the family becomes part of the team as well. Uh, when the patient first arrives that first afternoon or evening, uh, they will probably meet their nurse first. Um, but every, every patient is going to have a nurse and a tech who is working with them. Um, that will change depending on the shift in the day, but they will always have uh, for that shift a specific nurse and tech uh, team together as well as a physical therapist, occupational therapist um, for all of our patients. And then again, depending on the specific needs of the patient, they may have a speech therapist, they may have a recreational therapist, a psychologist or a neuropsychologist, and of course they're all going to have a physician, a rehab physician who works with them. In addition to the attending rehab physician, they may also have um, residents, fellows or medical students who are working on the team. Um, we as a team work very closely together, so every day we have a team conference where 
we discuss any issues of any of the patients that have come up over the past 24 hours, so we stay in really close communication among all of the disciplines. Um, and then once a week we do a formal team conference where we go through the full case, and, and that really helps in the uh, best practice and best management of all of our patients. Um, additionally, a lot of patients, depending again on the specific needs of the patient and family, uh, will receive a family conference while they're here where the treatment team as well as the patient and family who, again I emphasize, are part of the team, get together and really discuss what has happened over the course of the hospitalization, discharge planning, um, prognosis and things like that. that one of the things that's really important for everybody to recognize when they're coming to a rehab hospital is the fact that um, inpatient rehabilitation really is just the first step of a long process of rehabilitation. And so there have been a lot of changes over the years as far as what's the optimal time that somebody is inpatient rehab uh, versus outpatient rehab. And so the length of stay is relatively short on the order usually of a week to maybe three or four weeks depending on the diagnosis uh, on, on the inpatient service. But NRH has a huge network of outpatient uh, facilities, over 30 of them throughout D.C., Maryland, and Virginia. And so um, it's very easy for patients to transition from inpatient to outpatient setting. But I think that there is still a very valuable um, part of coming for inpatient rehabilitation. You do get more intense therapy and you get a lot of the uh, patient and family education and training before somebody goes home to make sure that the transition from the hospital home is a safe one and then we can provide the ongoing services as an outpatient.